How you doing guys? Mike Bradley here from uh, XR Organization in Dublin. Uh, just going to give you a quick run through uh, the very basics of what really, really allows this business to be systematic uh, and simple to follow uh, and to get out there and do all different products and clients and so on. Uh, one of the greatest things we have is obviously the five steps uh, that's used every single day. Uh, and it's something that we train guys in the first day, but it's something that can be used over and over and over again and allows you to do things with great confidence. Uh, so really simple, when we're training it and talking about it, you know it breaks down, we got our introduction, our presentation, short story, your close, and obviously then the rehash. Now the great thing about this, it makes it really, really simple to get straight through to any customer about with any product I've changed from energy into, uh, into charities division uh, and I've done this in events and I've done this in residential as well um, and the systems never change so it allows me to do a great confidence. I think I've changed campaign between seven and nine times now at this stage as well and trained numerous amount of guys as well so it always always allows me to do it uh, really really simply and that's the really important thing. So the introduction is all about simply engaging. It's all about engaging the customer. Um, so your icebreakers there. And this is where we have the likes of C principle really taking over. And I'm pretty sure everybody here understands the C principle, which is great. So really engaging the customers, asking questions, getting them out there, really you know showing your bit of personality, uh, and it allows somebody to really sell themselves as well as the client. So. Uh, it's really then stepping in, coming in with the presentation, which is all about who you are and what you're doing. So, by this stage, obviously the customer knows you, you feel know, smiling, eye contact, and enthusiasm. Then, of course, then you're explaining then whether you're with the charity, energy, food, whatever it is you're doing. Uh, and then what it is you're doing. So this allows you then to obviously start to see buying signs, leaving signs, everything straight away, really immediate. Um, so you know that you're spending time with the right customers or you're spending to, you know, time with the wrong customers as well. Um, going into your short story is about either the example of the work. And then of course, impulsing. So whether, no matter whether you're, you know, with uh, a charity client or whether you're with an energy company or, or whatever it is you're doing, it doesn't matter because what it is is that you're going to be able to explain right here the impulses, the reasons for these, you know, your client or your customer, sorry, your customer to be able to, why they want to engage, why they want this product or why they want to help the, the client that you're with. Um, and this allows you to really build that as well, really simply. The great thing is what you're doing is you're guiding the conversation straight through so you're not wasting much time uh, and you're able to, like I said, watching buying signs and leaving signs while you're doing this. The great thing then of getting on straight on to getting into the close. Uh, the close is all, all, all about being confident, uh, you know, keeping it short and sweet uh, and making this really, really simple for the customer as well. So the close then is getting them involved. or how they can help. They can help. So the important thing here is really that the customer knows what's going on, why they're doing it, um, and of course how it's going to benefit them or benefit the person that they want to help. So whether it's a charities or energy or, or securities, anything like that, um, and really what's going to happen next. So. This here has got to be something that's got to be done with the right tone of voice. It's got to be something that's going, you know, kept really, really simple. Um, but of course, with that, with confidence, uh, it allows you to do it effectively. And then, of course, then at the end of your cell, this is all about the rehash. So when you're in-house or on the door, it doesn't matter. What it's all about is really making sure that you're clarifying and you're consolidating the sale, that the, the person knows what's happening next. Um, the person knows exactly what they're buying in for. Uh, the person knows the structures of what's going to happen over time uh, and how long they're going to help for. So whether it's energy or uh, you get again charities, anything like this, uh, people really need to know what's going on. So when you leave, they remember you. Uh, they remember you for your, you as a person. Uh, so uh, obviously then it's something that you've built that relationship over time with. But also then they remember exactly what's going to be happening. So it's clear for them to explain to a partner. Uh, which is going to help with reject rates, it's clear for them, so when they sit down after you've left, 
They can be excited about what's going to happen. They can enjoy the fact that something's going to benefit them or they're going to help somebody else. So this is all about down to the rehash here. Um, and that's about clarifying. And consolidating. So following these simple, simple steps with every every single customer you meet every single day, yeah, you're gonna really have a really fun time being able to do this because your confidence is gonna be high, you're gonna be structured, it's gonna be systematic, um, and it allows you then to focus on so many other things and makes the pitch uh, uh, and dealing with the customer really, really easy and most importantly, really, really effective, uh, and you get the best out of your day. So really simply, very, very quickly, uh, that's the five steps for you guys, okay?